welcome to the aspirants of junior lecturers post in zoology conducted by telangana service public service commission let us see how should be the preparation for this examination it's very easy try to be optimistic and try to have the understanding of the concepts along with the information you should learn the information and also you should understand the concept paper 1 will be in general studies it will be for 150 marks paper 2 for the aspirants of zoology the zoology questions will be asked up to the pg level along with the basics and the questions will be for 150 questions and each question carries two marks that means 300 marks will be the score let us see how we have to prepare understanding the syllabus is the basic necessity let us have the bird's eye view regarding this zoology syllabus for junior lecturer post for telangana public service commission telangana state public service commission the first chapter includes only the general concepts levels of structural organization that means unicellular multicellular colonial forms prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells that means the cells without nucleus and the cells with the nucleus and the levels of organization protoplasmic grade cellular grade tissue grade organ grade and system grade like that acellometa pseudocellometa cellometa protostomia deuterostomia you know that acellometa are the organisms without coelom pseudocellometa are the organisms with false coelom coelometa are the organisms with true coelom or original coelom like that depending on the fate of blastopore animals are classified into protostomia and deuterostomia these things will be learned later in detail and concepts of species and uh, hierarchical taxa that means a species genus like that up to animal kingdom biological nomenclature that is binomial nomenclature trinomial nomenclature tautonymy tautonym species name genera name subspecies name like that classical methods of taxonomy of animals coming to the second chapter that is non chordata nothing but invertebrata the animals without uh, notochord or without vertebral column general characters and classification of invertebrates up to class level start with protozoa of course protozoa are included under protista but majority of the textbooks might have given or might have discussed protozoans under invertebrata only what or maybe you have to study all the invertebrate phyla right from protozoa porifera cilentrata tinofora platyhelminthes nematyhelminthes anilada arthropoda mollusca echinodermata regarding all this phyla a wonderful discussion was available in my channel and coming to protozoa you have to study the locomotion nutrition reproduction in protozoa and protozoan diseases of man like amoebiasis malaria trypanosomiasis etc porifera general characters of porifera canal system skeleton in porifera reproduction in sponges cilentrata polymorphism how number of zooids coexist in cilentrate colony metagenesis which is nothing but alternation of generations that means the alternation of polyp generation with uh, medusa generation coral formation and type study obelia and coming to helminths it includes common helminthic parasites of man 
Fasciola hepatica, Cystosoma, Tinea solium, Echinococcus granulosa, Ascaris lumbricoides, Ankylostoma duodenale, Trichinella, and their life cycles. Pathogenicity and clinical significance. Parasitic adaptations in Helminthus. For all these things, you have to understand the type study and the pathogenicity and the treatment. And try to understand the life cycle in the form of a flow chart or in the form of a cycle. And try to identify the name of the host, whether one host is present or two hosts are present, like that. And coming to Anileda, excretory system in Anileda, coelom formation, coelom and coelom ducts, metamerism. Arthropoda, mouth parts of insects, vomatidium, which is a unit of compound I, useful and harmful insects like uh, honeybee, silkworm, lac insect, mosquito, bed bug like that. Metamorphosis in insects, this video is also available in my channel. Apiculture and sericulture in India, crustacean larvae, peripatus. Coming to mollusca, torsion and detorsion and significance along with the peril formation. Echinodermata, echinoderm larvae and water vascular system. Coming to the third chapter that includes chordata. General characters and classification of chordates up to class level. Origin of chordates, phylogeny and affinities of hemichordata. Retrogressive metamorphosis. Vertebrate integument and its derivatives, comparative account of digestive, respiratory, circulatory, excretory and reproductive systems of vertebrates. You have to take each and every system and try to correlate the similarities and the differences starting from fishes up to mammals. Pisciculture in India, common edible fishes, we will discuss in detail all these things. Origin and evolution of amphibia, neoteny and pedogenesis. Almost every week let us try to give certain questionnaires. We will discuss in the form of questions also. Important snakes of India. Identification of poisonous and non-poisonous snakes. Poisonous apparatus, dinosaurs, flight adaptations and migration in birds, archaeopteryx, poultry, adoptive radiation in mammals, dentition in mammals. Coming to cell biology, again prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, plasma membrane, Ultra structure and function of plasma membrane, structure and function of intracellular organelles like mitochondria, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, peroxisomes, vacuoles, nucleus, etc. Chromosome structure and function, heterochromatin, euchromatin. Cell division, mitosis and meiosis, cell cycle and its regulation. Recombinant DNA technology, transgenesis and cloning. Protein synthesis, genetic code, initiation, elongation and termination. Regulation of gene expression, lac operon, genetics, Mendel's loss of inheritance, gene mapping methods, linkage, complete and incomplete linkages, linkage maps, recombination, mapping with molecular markers, somatic cell hybrids, crossing over, its types like somatic or mitotic crossing over or germinal or meiotic crossing over. Mutations types that is spontaneous and induced causes and detection. Chromosomal aberration like deletion, duplication, inversion and translocation. Ploidy and their genetic implications. Autosomal abnormalities. So you have to prepare various charts and you have to remember the diagram and also the karyotype of each syndrome. Sex anomalies, Turner syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, hermaphroditism. Human genetics, human karyotyping, genetic disorders due to mutant genes, Huntington's chorea, sickle cell anemia, inborn errors of metabolism, phenylketonuria or capturnuria. 
system and cell physiology, blood and circulation, blood corpuscles, hemopoiesis, plasma function, blood groups, hemoglobin, hemostasis. Cardiovascular system, neurogenic, myogenic heart, structure of heart, functioning of heart, working of heart, cardiac cycle, respiratory system, transport of gases and exchange of gases. Nervous system, neuron, conduction of nerve impulse, synaptic transmission and neurotransmitters. About each and everything, let us try to prepare questionnaire. Muzzle, ultrastructure of skeletal muzzle, mechanism of muzzle contraction. Sense organs, eye and ear, excretory system, structure and function of mammalian kidney and nephron, micturition, osmoregulation, osmoregulation in aquatic and terrestrial animals, digestive system, digestion, absorption, assimilation and digestion. Endocrinology, you have to list out the various glands, endocrine glands and their hormones and their impact, their target organs, their nature, types of hormones and mechanism of hormonal action like steroid hormonal action and protein hormonal action and their transport, hormonal regulation and reproduction in mammals, outline Classification of organic compounds, carbohydrates, proteins and lipids, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport system, oxidative phosphorylation, pentose phosphate pathway, gluconeogenesis. Evolution, you have to list out uh, the various theories of life, theories and evidences of organic evolution, the modern synthetic theory, Darwinism, Lamarckism, like that, chemical evolution theory, population genetics, gene pool, gene frequency, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, isolation and speciation, evolution of man, geographical realms of the world. Developmental biology, spermatogenesis and oogenesis, fertilization, cleavage, gas relation, formation of germinal layers, parthenogenesis, formation and function of fetal membranes, types of placenta, development of frog and chick. Coming to histology, histology of mammalian tissues and organs, how many types of epithelial tissues are there and where they are being found, connective tissue, blood, bone, cartilage, skin, stomach, intestine, liver, pancreas, kidney, testis and ovary. Coming to ecology, it's very crucial and very easy to understand also. But there is much scope for confusion. Concepts of ecosystem. Biogeochemical cycles like carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus. Influence of environmental factors on animals, energy flow in ecosystem. Food chains, food web and tropic levels. Animal associations like neutralism, mutualism, symbiosis, commensalism, parasitism, predation and competition. Ecological succession. Environmental pollution which is a very important, which is very important uh, in view of current affairs also. Air, water, land, noise, radioactive thermal pollutions and effects of these pollutions on ecosystem. Prevention of the same. Wildlife in India, conservation, Chipko movement. Biodiversity, economic significance, conservation, hot spots of India. Coming to immunology, cells of uh, the immune system, lymphoid cells, mononuclear cells, granulocytic cells, mast cells. Organs of the immune system, primary and secondary lymphoid organs, lymphatic system, antigens, antigenic determinants or epitopes, immunogenicity, haptans. Humoral immunity, immunoglobulin, fine structure of immunoglobulin and immunoglobulin classes. Innate anatomical barriers, phagocytosis, natural killer cells, interferon, cell mediated immunity, mechanism of cell mediated immunity. This is of course the bird's eye view. Don't forget to understand the concept and try to understand the fundamentals and basics of geology. Start with 10th class or 10th standard textbook. Then go through 10 plus 1, 10 plus 2. Biology of NCERT textbooks. Then even Telugu Academy textbooks of both uh, Telangana and uh, Andhra states regarding intermediate syllabus. Don't forget to study intermediate syllabus. 
because you are going to teach for intermediate students so try to study the intermediate textbook point by point paragraph by paragraph then invertebrates and the chordates books of kotpal series in any bookstore it is available rastogi publications saras publications will help you a lot genetics by pk gupta abc of biology if you can afford you can go through that material life sciences for csir by pranav kumar and arihant series it depends on your affordability and even if you don't buy any textbook don't worry the concept is important now much material is available online and try to be very confident and try to discuss with your friends so that's about uh, the birds eye view i will assure that i will come to you at least twice or thrice every week with uh, 20 questions at a time and you will try to come out with the material in objective manner and also in collective and subjective manner and uh, if you don't mind you try to subscribe also thank you very much